Yo guys, what is going on? Today we're going to make a dented metal material, so let's get into it. I start by obviously deleting everything and adding any object that you want. I'm just going to use a UV sphere and I'm going to make it smooth. Then let's go over to the shading tab and let's just change a few of these settings. I'll change it to this one and I'm going to also make sure I'm in inclusions on and screen space refraction and make sure it's on EV. And let's go and add a new material, make it metallic. So let's go add in a bump and connect this to the normal. And we're also going to add in a wave texture and add the color to the height. Then if you've got the node wrangler, you're gonna go control T and you're going to use the object to the vector. Let's go move this because we're gonna be adding things here. So highlight both of them and then go G and then you can move them. Then let's take down the strength. Right, now let's go add in a color ramp. And let's bring up the distortion. As you can see, you're getting a really dented kind of look. And we'll bring up the scale as well. It's looking a bit more like weathered metal. Right, so let's go add in a noise texture over here. So go shift A, add or search. Go noise and click it there. And let's go bring this color down. As you see, as you bring the color up, it kind of makes it less hilly. And now separate for these and move them out again and go shift a add in a mix rgb and drop them in there and while we're here we'll connect the object to color 2 so this mix node when you bring it to all the way up it's using it's going from this texture corner all the way it's like bypassing this noise and then vice versa. So let's just go bring up the detail and that will go up to 16 and we'll keep the scale at five and let's bring this down a bit. And then as you can see, see it's looking a lot, lot better. Duplicate this bump and then connect the bump to the normal. And now we want to add in a Voronoi texture. So, and connect to the height. And don't worry, it'll go like this. Don't worry about it. Like that will all get sorted out in just a second once we've connected the object to the vector. And when you bring down the strength, it will, it will change the um, how like messed up it looks like this. And we'll sort it out in just a minute. So when we change this, Mikowski. As you can see, they, there's a load of dents. So, I'm going to add in a, another color ramp. And this should limit the amount of dents that we have. So, when you uh, move this down, it, you know, it makes smaller dents. When you bring it up, there's loads of them. So, and then with the scale, you, you know, it makes more of them. It makes less of them you know you can kind of go and explore yep as you see these are all kind of looking like diamonds so what we're going to do is we're going to go add in a noise texture as you can see it's beginning to look a bit you know more realistic and let's bring up the detail and let's go add in a mix rgb and drop them here and let's get the object to color two as you can really see, it's beginning to look a lot more realistic. So as you move it up, you're getting 
less realistic and as you're coming back down it's getting more and more and more detailed and when you play when you play with the strength there it's going to make it a lot more like noticeably dark and then when you bring it up here it kind of fades it all out and pretty much there we go guys you know have fun with it experiment play around with your settings so guys if you enjoyed that hit the like button if you didn't enjoy it hit the dislike button thank you for watching this